Hey guys, in this video we are looking at how to drag and drop video links into OBS from OBS Ninja. This just makes life a little bit easier. Uh, we're going to jump into OBS and OBS Ninja. And in this case, I'm going to obs.ninja slash beta. This is the uh, upcoming preview release. It allows you to get a taste of the upcoming features. And hopefully you can report any bugs you find. Anyways, we're going to click add your camera to OBS. We're going to select um, my main camera's in use. So I'll select another camera uh, and we'll hit start. Now at the top, we see that we have a link. This is for OBS and we can just drag that in to OBS. Let go and it will say yes or no. Yes, and our video feed shows up within a second. Now you'll, you'll notice that we don't really have any audio being captured in OBS yet, so we still need to double click it and click Control Audio via OBS. And now we should have audio um, right here popping up with the label of our OBS Ninja feed. Uh, well, we can also go back here and I can show you some other places we can bring in feeds. This page allows us to create custom links. Um, I use it mainly for mobile to bring my mobile phone in. But this link you can, you know, give to a guest and they can come in with, let's say, a screen share or something like that. And then this link at the bottom we can just drag into OBS. Hit yes. And boom. We have the screen share in OBS. We can then add audio. And we're done. Uh, another place that we can use this is we can close all this down. We can go to add group chat. We can give our room a little name. And now we have a bunch of links. Now some of these we can, some of them we can't drag and drop. Uh, these two top ones are for inviting guests. I'm going to invite myself in with this top one here. I'll just invite a cam uh, screen share in. Uh, you'll notice that these videos, when they pop into the director's room, have a solo link. We can drag those in. And so the video appears in OBS. Uh, we can drag in Scene Zero. And Scene Zero is a little bit fun in that if we bring in another guest, uh, let's say, let's say I drag in the Logitech, um, you know, it shows up in this control room as well uh, but it also shows up automatically in the OBS as a mixed scene uh, and then we can try scenes scene one scene one by default will show nothing but we can click add and remove videos and so that gives us some control over who shows up in OBS and who doesn't um, so that's kind of neat so those are some of the options that you can uh, drag and drop from OBS Ninja. Uh, there's one last thing that we can drag and drop, and that is if you go to Docs in OBS, View Docs, Custom Docs, we can add a doc. So we'll just give it a name, and then we'll add in HTTPS slash, slash, you know, OBS.Ninja slash doc, or in this case, beta slash doc, and then we hit OK. We can then go to Docs, and then we can hit uh, the name and we have this dock. We can drag it around, move it where we want. And it's just like the invite generator in OBS Ninja. We can set up things like the quality of the resolution. Hit generate. This green link is our invite link. We can give that to a guest. So we can bring a camera in. And then this red link, we can just drag into OBS. Let go. And boom, we're good to go. You know, we can double check uh, to ensure we have audio and now we have audio as well so that makes life very easily uh, very easy by using the dock you don't actually have to go to the website at all the website comes to OBS and you can drag and drop in without having to do much customization it's up to you if you want to add audio or not but um, that makes life pretty easy I think Anyways, uh, that's the end of the video. I just wanted to de demonstrate how you can drag and drop and make using OBS Ninja with OBS that much easy, uh, easier. And yeah, thanks guys. Stay 